This is where the sweetness comes in. We sacrifice our carrot cake. This will make us another rabbit. You can see right here. We'll get not too bad. Two more triggers. Take out Baird. We're down to two. Nice. We're actually in range now. Okay, that means they pump up the whole team. That's going to be painful. Even with all that damage, we're down to eight. They are now on the backswing. And here we go, everybody. <laughs> we beat our opponent here. They three rabbit tokens. <laughs> Big, wide, beat down. Oh, yeah. There we go, everybody. That was the win. Hello, my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the hottest in budget deck technology. And for today's deck tech, we're actually going to take a quick little detour before we start talking about Dustmourne and start talking about Standard. I know, I don't really do Standard too much content-wise, but this deck actually kind of spoke to me because, let's be honest, rabbits are so cute in Bloomboro. So I figured, why not we just make a simple little deck that revolves around our furry little friends here? So without further ado, join me in the Standard format as we play a deck that I'm simply calling Bunny Beatdown. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content. You can support me monthly for a small amount on Patreon, where I have all of my extended bonus footage posted. Or, for free, all you can just do also is just join our growing community on Discord. Your support helps keep this channel going. All links are in the details below. Long time viewers of the channel know how we do it. We have to talk about the stats of the deck before we dive right in. So our Slesnia Rabbit deck is focusing on white and green. We're looking at an average mana curve of about 1.9. We're looking at a total of 28 creatures in the deck, seven sorceries, four artifacts, and only 21 lands. In short, the simple gist of it is for this deck, it is going to be partially mid-range and partially aggro. We're looking to try to create a couple of really big creatures to either beat down our opponent's stompy style, or if we can't do that, we're just going to go as wide as we can and eventually pump up those additional rabbits to overwhelm our opponent and get to our victory. But how exactly are we going to be able to pull that off in standard with just a bunch of little furry rabbits? Good question! So with that, starting in the one-drop slot, we have Season Warren Guard here. So it's a simple little 1-2 here, but it does get an extra plus 2 plus 0 pump as long as we have a token on the battlefield. Also in the one drop slot, we'll have Placket Rotten Tail here. It doesn't do much right now as a 1-1 Fungus Rabbit that Vigilance, but if it's in the graveyard, we can then exile it later on for three mana and then put two plus one plus one counters on a target creature we control. And then finally, we have Valley Might Caller here. You may have remembered this card originally from our Frog deck tech, but of course we're gonna bring it back here because it's pretty awesome and it still triggers off even though we're not using any frogs. Going into the two drop slot here, we'll have also Valley Quest Caller here. This is also one of our key cards that's gonna help us not only pump up our rabbits, but also help us get through our deck. So real quick to talk about it, Valley Quest Caller here is a 2-mana, two 2-3 two, Rabbit Warrior that reads, Whenever one or more other rabbits, bats, birds, and or mice you control enter, scry one. Other rabbits, bats, birds, and mice you control get plus one, plus one. So it just helps, again, pump up our whole team. And of course, with every other rabbit that does enter, we get to scry one to help keep filtering through our deck. Now, similar to the Valley Might Caller here, we also have Burrow Guard Mentor. This, again, however, is dependent on how many creatures we have on the battlefield to pump it up. With its trample ability, both of them are great to ensure we can push through damage no matter how many chump blockers our opponent may have. Going into the 3-drop slot here, we have Harvest Tide Host. This is a simple 3-3 three, three, or 3 mana. It's a rabbit citizen, and of course, when it enters, target creature we control will get plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. However, we can also draw a card if this ability resolves a second time. We only have a single copy of it in the 3-drop slot, but Intrepid Rabbit here can be also sometimes key. Also, it has the offspring mechanic, so when it enters, target creature we control will get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Rounding out the three drops out here, we have Hazard Root Herbalist here, and whenever we attack, target creature we control will get plus one plus zero until end of turn. However, this also gives us the bonus of giving one of our tokens Death Touch if it's one of our token creatures. And then finally, going into the four drops out here, we have Warren War Leader here. This is also one of our key cards here and one of our awesome finishers. So as you can see right here, Warren War Leader is a four mana Rabbit Knight with Offspring of two. And it reads, whenever you attack, you get to choose one. You get to create a one one white Rabbit Creature token that's tapped in attacking, or a Attacking creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. So we can either pump up the whole team or we can at least get a couple other tokens to trigger off some of our other key attackers and hopefully finish off our opponent. 
Circling back over to the non-creature support, we also will have in the one drop slot Bushwhack here. It can help us dig out a land in the early game and also in the mid to late game, we can use it as the fight mechanic as pseudo spot removal. Going into the two drops, we'll have Carrot Cake here. So this of course enters and we get to create a 1-1 one, one white rabbit creature token and we get to scry one, whether it enters or if it gets sacrificed, which is great for us because sometimes you'll want to sacrifice this food just to give yourself a little bit of extra life to stabilize. In the three drops out here, we have a really, really cute little card here. Hop to it. It simply is a sorcery, but for three mana, you get three 1-1 one, one white rabbit creature tokens. Oh boy. Try saying that three times fast. White rabbit creature tokens. White rabbit creature tokens. White rabbit creature tokens. Words are hard, by the way. Even in standard, we are going to be maintaining our budget, so we are going to keep this as simple as possible. So for our land base, we have seven planes. Four forests, we'll have a single copy of Lupin Val Village here. This mostly can just help us dig six cards deep to pull out another rabbit if we need to in a pinch. And also Oak Hollow Village. If timed right, with a bunch of rabbits that enter on the same turn this is here, we can then tap this down to give them all plus one, plus one counters. And of course, our tap land will be Blossoming Sands here. It enters and helps us gain some life to help us again maintain stabilization. And of course, some Evolving Wilds to help filter out our deck and pull out all of those extra basic lands. Now, if you do want to take this into best of three, here's going to be my best options I would give you. So for your graveyard hate, as always, I highly recommend it. Get Soul Guide Lantern here. This is your best option for you. We'll also have copies of Case of the Gateway Express. It is pseudo spot removal and also can help pump up our team even stronger. If we do encounter handfuls of wraths that our opponents may try to throw at us, Dewdrop Cure here can ensure that we can bring those cards from back from our graveyard to the battlefield. And if we gift the card, we can actually get a third creature back instead of two. For your artifact and enchantment hate, we're going to utilize Haywire Might here. It can help us exile select artifacts and enchantments we don't want to deal with here. And we also have a single copy of Pick Your Poison here, mostly to utilize as an edict effect against single target artifacts or enchantments. If we do need to give ourselves a little bit of protection for select cards such as our Valley Might Caller, we'll utilize Take Up the Shield here. It will give our creature lifelink and indestructible to ensure that we can protect them along with that plus one plus one counter added to him. For a catch-all removal for anything else out there, we'll also have copies of Seal from Existence here. It also has Ward 3 built into it, so that basically means it's going to stick on the battlefield no matter what. And to finish it off, if you do have longer, grindier games, we'll have in a copy of Invasion of Moag. So the simple little battle siege here enters, puts plus one, plus one counters on all of our creatures, and if we get to flip it, we can then start putting additional plus one, plus one counters on any target creature we control. But the real question we need to ask ourselves is, is it possible for one of the more underpowered creature types in Standard to succeed against some of the top tier decks out there it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off well there's only one way to find out so i don't know about you but i'm super hyped to see how well rabbits can do so let's take this deck into standard and see how it does all right my fire friends here we go can we make big bad bunnies here in standard well we do have some lands but we have an awkwardly tap land where we actually need a green source immediately but we're still going to try to make this work we should be fine with this right let's put down a blossoming sands first we'll get a life all right opponent what are you playing? What do you got? Mountain. Oh, okay. So they pot away the Demonic Ruckus. So they're probably going to be Mono Red Aggro. We'll see if that's actually going to be painful for us. In any case, we will play... How do we do this here? I think... Burrow Guard Mentor. Alright, it's only a 1-1 one -one for now, but it will get bigger soon. Oh, it's got planes. Do you have removal opponents? Bear. Arcadian Recruiter. Okay. Alright, well, they make a soldier. Okay, so, let's see. We'll put down a planes here. We'll put down... Okay, how do we do this here? Hmm. I think we'll put down Valley Might Caller. Pumps. Seasoned Warring Guard. There's a token there. And do we swing here? Are they going to actually block? I don't think they're going to block, so we're going to be a little risky here. Even if they do block, that still helps us out. Okay, they do not. Down to 17, we're at 21. Planes. Copper Coat Vanguard. Alright, we get a pump. Okay. They just make a note. Alright, well, that's fine for us. So, we'll just cast Bushwhack in. We'll just get another basic uh, forest out. Dig that out. Put down the forest. We will put down. How do we do this here? Um, I guess we'll put down another Valley Bike Hauler. There's another one, a big pump. And then, do we want to attack here? I guess we'll attack still with the Burrow Guard Mentor. It does seem risky to do this, but as you can see here, your opponent cannot take the chance because they're going to lose a lot of their creatures. And they're going to try to go wider than us. Still no attack. Huh. Alright, well, I mean, that's fine. So with that, Carrot Cake coming down. 
we will make a rabbit out of that. Ooh, okay, hop to it coming up next. That'll be great. Be able to trigger off our Valley Might Caller twice. I guess we'll just get aggro here. We're gonna try to. All right, big hit opponent. Do you block? Resolute reinforcements. All right, well, they're trying to put up a little blockade here. Is it enough? Opponent's trying to do the math right now. Do they have enough to just prevent this from happening? They're gonna have to give up all their tokens at this point. Caller, all right, all right. This is where the sweetness comes in. This is where the fun begins. We sacrifice our carrot cake. This will make us another rabbit. You can see right here, we'll get not too bad. Two more triggers. Take out Baird, we're down to two. Nice! They will draw a card off of that though, but hey, we're actually in range now. Okay, that means they pump up the whole team. That's gonna be painful, but we can afford the hit. Even with all that damage, we're down to eight. They are now on the backswing, and here we go, everybody. <laughs> We beat our opponent here. They three rabbit tokens. <laughs> so many bunnies. Big ride beat down. Oh yeah, there we go, everybody. That was the win. Not too bad, right? We got them. Looking good. Rabbits. I think they're highly underrated, honestly, in this format. Okay, my fire friends, here we go. Can we get a couple more wins here in standard with our rabbit deck? Well, we don't have that many lands, but we can get one out with bushwhack, so I think we'll keep that. So, might be a little risky, but we're going to try. We do have at least a couple of turn one, two, turn two plays. All right, so we did get a carrot cake, so here's how we do this. Okay, Placid Rotten Tail. I almost got a swamp, so let me guess. Do they have removal? Yep. Surprise there. Cut down. Literally. Okay, opponent, what do you got? Coleos decapitated that. All right, well. <sighs> yep. This is the typical opening play in standard. Well, this stinks. Removal, deep cavern bats. Probably gonna go into, if I'm guessing, if they have the lily on at hand. That'll be annoying, but we'll see. I would assume our opponent would probably get rid of the quest caller. Yep, they did. All right, bushwhack. We'll dig out a land, because we really need one. Let's get out a planes. Put that planes down, pass the turn. All right, opponent, what do you got? Another cave of Coleos. Creature of the Schism. All right, it is a standard staple, so to be expected. Okay, planes. We will play... Let's see. I guess we'll play the Brogard Mentor. Not for any value, unfortunately. They have four cards in hand, though, so... Well, three cards now. Let's see. Do they have any additional removal? They do. We're going to be in trouble. Well, Liliana technically is not removal, but she does have a takedown ability. Home, so, and yep. I don't appreciate yep. Line. Very <laughs> typical Haven't deck right now in standard. Down to 16. All right, hop to it. That's not bad. I guess we'll just play the hop to it then. Make three rabbits. Another land, tap land. Zora line. All right, well, here come the bats. Opponent takes up. So we have to throw away a card. We throw away here. I guess we'll throw away the intrepid rabbit. This unfortunately means our opponent knows our hand still. They swing. They gain some life. Draw a card. No blocks. Down to 13. Valley my caller. Okay, well, that's not a bad option here. And then. Valley quest caller. Let's go. Frog. Let's see. We will go all in here because we need to take out that Lily on it. It cannot survive any longer. They take out one of our rabbits. Lily on it down. Okay, well, they can't get Valley off it anymore, so that's good. Opponent. Virtual loyalty, so they make a knight. Virtual loyalty again. Another knight. Alright. Opponent swinging here for a big chunk. Alright. No blocks yet. Down to seven. Alright. We're getting close to the end here. Can we survive? Wilds. Play the carrot cake. We do make a rabbit. Season Warren Guard. I think we need that now. Pump up our frog. Evolving Wilds, number two. We don't need that. Let's see, no swings. Pass the turn. 
Wow, we haven't had a chance to really do any attacking here. Opponent's just been perfectly well circled on the offense here, so that's been a little unfortunate. It's okay. Control loyalty. Well, I think this might be game. We'll get down another forest. Okay, opponent. Well, I mean, you can swing here, which is not ideal for us, but we'll just have to deal with it. Life, draw a card. Alright, we don't have a choice here, unfortunately. So, block and block with two rabbits. Creature still is down. We're down to three, though. <laughs> I'm in danger! Okay. Caustic Bronze to go. Okay. Burrow Guard Mentor. It does pump up Valley Mike Lord, but it's not just too little too late. Alright, well, we put that down. Carrot Cake can still be sacked. We gained some life off of that, so we survive at least a little bit here, but it's still not enough. Carrot Cake down. Bobby Wilds. Get another forest. I mean, we could swing here, but it's, it just doesn't matter at this point. Our opponent's got lethal in the air, and we just can't stop him. So, alright, I guess we'll just concede here. Man, that stinks. It's okay, everybody. We'll hopefully get him next time. Man, we're actually really close to Diamond. But hopefully, again, we'll get a victory on the next one. Alright, my fire friends, here we go. Can our rabbits get there with our game plan? Well, the good news is we do have some planes here. We don't have any green mana, which is uh, a little awkward here. Maybe we should try to mulligan. Let's try to mulligan and see if we can do better. Okay. A little slower, but we do have a bushwhack still, so that should be fine for us. Let's keep this. We'll put back one of our rotten tails. And we'll go for the forest. Valley my collar. Okay, Bonnet, what do you got? Mountain. Heart fire here. Okay, so it might be mice or just plain old aggro. Well, I guess we'll see you in a second. Lost his hands. Gain a life. I get rocket tail. Cool. Alright, now we swing. Do you block opponents? Not. Okay. Down 18 at 21. Planes. Opponent goes swing. Should we block this right here? Okay. Damage. All right. If they have pump, they have pump. And they do. They have monstrous rage, which is a little annoying. It's fine. We can still get through this. Get up to it. Not too shabby there. So here's how we do this. All right. Season four guard. Get some pump there. I wanted to keep this to fight the Heartfire hero, but I think we're gonna need to we're gonna need to land more. Let's get the planes. Heads down, swing again. 15. Alright. They still got a bunch of cards in hand. They have three lands. What else are they saving up for? Mouse mouse, get some pump. It's gonna be a little scary for a bit, everybody, but that's okay. We will try. Down to 12. She keeps house coming down. Second heart fire hero. Alright. Well, we're gonna try, everybody. Hop to it. Such a cute name for a card. Alright, so we got three rabbits, and we will get a nice amount of pump here. Pump, pump. Big swing here. Season War Guard does get the pump as well. Here. Okay, not too shabby. So, they're down to six. Can we close this game out? We can use the rabbits if we need to to chump block just for a little bit. There you go, swinging. Best option we have here is we're just going to try to block the Heartfire hero. They got three mana open. I don't think they can get lethal off of that much mana. Ooh, a jello intervention. All right. Well, they did get a little bit of pump here. I think we can get there. I think we can get there with this, what we have. Let's see. Come on, opponent. Anything else? Our hero, hero number three. Wow. They really are going all in on them. Okay, so here's how we do this. Planes. We will put it on the might caller. Big pump here. Oh, there we go, everybody. Nice. We got there. Woo! All right. 
not too shabby, right? Nothing super impressive there, but you can see rabbits do have it within them to get some wins. All right. And there you have it already. So that was our bunny beatdown deck for standard. And you tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Would you play this deck in any way, shape, or form? Truth be told, I'm actually really satisfied with how the deck turned out. It's not exactly as powerful, say, lizards or even birds or bats. But again, rabbits can still hold their own, at least in standard. Now, if you do want to upgrade this, of course, and take it into other formats, that's going to be a different story because from those other more powerful formats, such as Explore, Historic, or even Timeless, that's when you're going to struggle quite a bit. So I would honestly say rabbits are perfectly fine, at least in the standard format. Explore is a big maybe, but that's just because we don't have as much support versus, say, lizards in those more in the eternal formats. Having said that, though, if you are interested in upgrading our rabbit deck that we saw today into a more powerful package, here's what I'm going to show you, because those of you that are this far into the video, you are my true fiery friends. And as a thank you, as always, we're going to show you how you can make your rabbit deck even bigger and better than before. Now, if you do want to upgrade the deck and take it to the next level, here's what I'm going to recommend for you. So for the main deck, we're going to add an actual copy of Phineas H. Archer here. Many of our rabbits have no problem getting pumped up, so its ability will trigger off very easily. We can make our bunnies even bigger, and it also helps us draw a card when we need to. As far as any other upgrades to the main deck itself, the only other thing we'll just add in will be Claim Jumper itself. This rabbit mercenary will just help us kind of pseudo ramp a little bit faster, so it does make our game plan a lot easier to go off. As far as then going into the land base, you'll get Fable Passions and said this will remove of course the evolving wilds a restless prairie this just gives you at least a creature land just to help kind of with the game plan plus this is also the one that helps us just pump up all of our team which is great synergy even if it's not a rabbit itself you'll also have copies of razor verge thicket and brush lands here if you do want to do a full set that's perfectly fine i only went with three right here so we have at least enough lands that we can fetch out with fable passage to make it worth it Going into the sideboard, we're going to be mixing it up quite a bit here, just again, incorporate a lot more abilities and more versatility for the deck overall. So instead, we'll have extra copies of Pick Your Poison instead of the single copy we had from the main deck in the budget version. You're going to, of course, keep your Soul Guide Landers, keep your Dewdrop Cures just to make sure you can bring stuff back. We're now going to throw in Invasion of Gobicon. I absolutely do love this card, but it does help out with one big major game plan that we mentioned earlier, which is our weakness to Wrath. By putting this in, we can then slow down our opponent's game plan. We hopefully can then flip it into Light Shield Array, giving our entire team another way to pump themselves up and also to give themselves mass protection against those rats. We'll snip away a take up the shield to then put in a pollen shield here. This is again just another rabbit just to give us a little bit more of a boost but it's ability to of course pump up one of our creatures to give it both vigilance and also a big plus one plus x plus x pump will just make sure that again you have another way of pushing through full damage and of course protecting yourself on the backswing. To give yourselves more of an advantage with all those plus one plus one counters, we'll have Innkeeper's Talent. This is actually a really popular card right now, very powerful in standard. So of course we have to put it into the deck and it will give all of our creatures that have plus one plus one counters if you get it to level two, ward one to give it some light protection. Since we are going to be utilizing those plus one plus one counters, a single copy of Tribute to the World Tree here will also give a lot of our rabbits a lot more pump and power behind the wheel as we get them onto the battlefield. One extra copy of Warren War Leader here if you do want to throw that in here. And if not, you can also throw in another plan b or i guess i could say plan c to the deck a johnny sleeper agent here just to help dig us again through our entire deck if we can then trigger off its other ability the minus six to then start putting poison counters on our opponent stuff this will then allow us to close out the game very quickly against any opponent and with that all out of the way here are my final thoughts that i just want to give on the deck overall rabbits do have what it takes to then hold their own against some of the other creature types from bloomboro but overall in standard and if you want even want to try to take a risk going into other older formats rabbits still has a long way to go even more so than say bats or even lizards because some of those creature types have had already at least some presence but we barely have gotten rabbits only in the past couple of years in the game still i still enjoy what they are capable of and i do see the potential for them becoming a much more stronger threat down the line overall though if you are still a fan of the rabbit creature type if you're a fan of budget decks that go big and wide, and if you're a fan of mid-range aggro that can be flexible like this deck was shown today, I would definitely say give this deck a try, and I assure you, when you manage to make your rabbits go super big to beat down your opponent or super wide to overwhelm the battlefield, you'll have a lot of fun doing so, you'll be definitely surprised at what they're capable of, and I assure you, you will not be disappointed. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching everyone, and just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, Always be sure to burn bright. Later.